Ok, ciao. Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Before the chamber hands the floor to the defense counsels for the accused, to put questions to this witness. The chamber would like to notify all the relevant parties that la chambre souhaite rappeler à toutes les parties. Twenty minutes towards remaining of this hearing session, that is 22-4, the chamber will give the floor to the parties in particular to Nunchi's defense la sera aux parties, en à la to provide de oral arguments and reasons for their submission to adjourn the hearings of certain witnesses so that they could review relevant documents that the co-prosecutors request to have them transferred from case 004 into the current case. And in particular, the doc documents related to through TCW803 and through TCW 809, who have been scheduled by the chamber to testify from tomorrow onward. So once again, the chamber will spend 20 minutes of the remaining session today before we adjourn the hearing to provide the floor to all the concerned parties. And I'd like now to hand the floor to Judge Fence. Just, just to clarify, in case there was a translation issue, the 20 minutes are not to provide arguments on the complete motion, because this hasn't been filed yet, and we are not dealing with non-filed motions. However, we note that one part of the motion, which is already also mentioned in the email, pertains to the next witness. So please, arguments in the afternoon are exclusively to be focused on the reasons on why 803 and 807 should be deferred. Sorry, 809. Um, thank you, Judge Fence. I'll be happy to do that later this afternoon. Uh, if, if, you, if the bench now gives uh, us oral permission to file in one language, then it is filed. Uh, the reason it's not filed yet because we're still being busy translating. We are not complaining. It's just an issue that our national colleagues can't read it. And I think with an issue like this, everybody should be in a position to, to understand your arguments. I, I fully appreciate that. Um, but then wouldn't you think it would be more appropriate to await the full Khmer translation of our uh, motion and uh, have our arguments first thing or sometime uh, in, uh, in the morning, tomorrow morning, when we are finished with our cross-examination. When do you expect the translation? Um, probably um, sometime during the course of the morning. A to three is scheduled as the next one. He is already le, here as a reserve. I understand that. That's why we try to do it as fast as possible. But um, uh, well, it's up to you to balance uh, full understanding possible. of our motion uh, in Khmer language versus uh, the also understandable position of, of the next witness. But that's that's up to the bench. President Judge Lavergne, you have the floor. Oui, juste pour euh, corriger, parce que j'entends yes. parler du témoin 823 ou 843, mais euh, il sera question cet après-midi que du témoin 803 et éventuellement du témoin 809. Et donc euh, les, euh, les demandes vont concerner ces euh, deux témoins. 
Voilà, et 20 minutes seront allouées à la défense et aux otages pour y répondre. So the 20 minutes are both for the defense and the other parties. President, thank you, Judge. Merci, Monsieur le Juge. The Chamber would like now to hand the floor to the defense team for Nguyen Chi first to put the questions to this witness. Do you have the floor? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour um, à tous et à toutes. I would like to start asking um, a few questions about some people who were detained at Tam Ta Chan. And Mr. Witness, I would like to start with reading uh, a short excerpt from uh, your statement to investigators of the um, investigating judge. So that is E319-133. Um, question question. Um, a9090. The question is, and I read as follows Do you know about arrests made in Srey Kru village? Initially, in 1977, your answer, uh, they arrested members of two families, including wives and children from the village of Srey Kru. But later, in 1979, they released the wives and their children back into the village. I was the one who led the wives and children back to the village. Four other people were also arrested and sent to Krang Tachan prison. Question 91. Do you remember their names? And your answer, and I quote, the members of the first family were Kun, the husband of Yi Na, and their children Ka, Rat, and another one whom I cannot recall. Kun was detained at Krang Tachan prison. The members of the second family were Rat, daughter of Kun and Yi Na, who was married to Boon a detainee at Krang Tachan prison. The other four people included Sot, San, and two other people whose names I cannot recall. Ta Sot and Ta San were detained at Krang Tachan prison and survived to the end of the Khmer Rouge regime. But I do not know whether they are alive or dead now. Sot and San lived in Srai Kru village. And then the final question, 92, uh, are question any of them living today? And you reply, Yena lives in Srey Kru village. Mr. Witness, um, is that an accurate uh, description of your answer that you gave to the investigators? Confirmez-vous que ces réponses apportées aux enquêteurs étaient bien celles-ci? Yes, yes it is. Um, in your answer Question. to the um, investigators in D423, um, page 4 of the 43, English version, that is ERN English 00223210, Khmer 00165354, and French 0049 Mr. Witness, in your answer, you refer to uh, Yi Na, Grandmother Noor, as your aunt. Um, is that correct? Is uh, Grandmother Noor, in fact, your aunt? There are two uh, grandmother in your réponse, one was my uh, aunt. L'une d'elles était ma tante. And the, the family of uh, my aunt used to live at uh, Ampel by Dam during the Lunola uh, regime, but I haven't met her for a long Mais time. Cela fait très longtemps que je ne l'ai pas revue. So, 
grandmother Nar, Question. who is the mother of Rat and Ka, is not Donc, your aunt. Am I Rat understanding you correctly? Ka n'est pas votre tante. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris? Il ne s'agit pas de la même Nyor. Yes. Réponse, oui. Um, Mr. Witness, in your uh, answer to the investigating question. judges, E319133, in question A167, um, you are saying on the question, did you ever communicate with any of the prisoners? In your answer, I often gave food to them, such as to Ye Na. She still praises me for that today. Who is, is this your aunt that you're referring to or not your aunt that you're referring to? In that instance, I uh, did not refer to uh, my aunt. Là, il ne s'agit pas de ma tante. Very well. And um, Merci. in your statement D4023, Et dans le D4020, in the middle of, on, on top of page 7, that is English ERN 00223213216, 7, ERN en Command 00165357 and French 00490912. The question is, do you know where the survivor Yi Na is living? And you answer, I know Yi Na. Uh, she is at Sreku village. Chen Ton sub-district because she visits me often with her children and grandchildren since she survived because of me having given her food to eat. Is my understanding that this is not uh, the mother of Rat and uh, Ka that you're referring to, but your but the other grandmother now? Yes, uh, that's my Réponse. aunt, Nyor. Oui, il s'agit là de ma tante, Nyor. Uh, are you also in contact Question. with the other grandmother, Nyor? Êtes-vous en contact uh, avec l'autre grand-mère, Nyor? The mother of Ka and Rad? Or not at all? Ka et Rad? Ou pas du tout? Uh, at present time, yes, we uh, maintain our contact oui, between the two families. Um, would you be able to tell us uh, how Question. often both families uh, meet with each other in, let's say, the last five or ten years? Uh, uh, usually, réponse. I would see her at her house with the family en once général, or twice a, a month because sometimes I travel across uh, her mois. place of uh, residence. Now you're talking about your aunt. Well, my question, question was, là, um, tante, would you be able to tell us if and when uh, the two families uh, si met with each other in the last five or ten years. Si oui, à quelle fréquence depuis cinq ou dix ans ou sur les cinq ou dix dernières années? Réponse. Since she left to live along the border, I lost the contact elle est with her. Vivre à la frontière et depuis lors, j'ai perdu le contact avec elle. Uh, let me rephrase my question. Uh, in the Question. last five or ten years, have you spoken to um, Mia Soka uh, and his mother? Have you spoken to Sai Sen uh, about anything? Please, repeat your question. My, my question is, 
about the contacts that you have with the other family, uh, the other grandmother Noor, who is the, um, the mother of Ka and Rat. Are you meeting them often? Are the two families uh, meeting each other often? Could you, could you shed some light on that? I have not visited her at her home during the last uh, two months. Je ne me suis pas rendu chez elle au cours des deux derniers Fair mois. Enough, but how about the last five years or ten years? Question, mais qu'en est-il des cinq ou dix dernières années? Réponse. Usually, I would be invited to attend any religious ceremony. And she would send her uh, children to uh, come to invite me to attend. Have you talked uh, to any of to members of your family or members of the other family, uh, grandmother Nor, etc., uh, about events that happened uh, during the regime of Democratic Cambodia? My Réponse. relationship or uh, contact with in your family was a social one, and we did not uh, talk about what happens during the uh, DK regime. Okay, thank, thank you, Mr. Mr. Witness. Um, in your statement Merci, to the investigating judge E319133, uh, in answer 223, you state as follows. Je Question. Cite. Can you give me the names Question. of any of those who survived the current Tachan prison that you know? And you answer. Uh, Yi Na presently lives in Sreku village, Chung Tong commune, Chum Kok district. Yi Rat lives in the United Tom States Kok. of America. Sot and San live Sot near Yi Na. How do you know, uh, Mr. Witness, that Yi Rat lives in the United States of America? When I went to uh, visit uh, Ye Nyo, uh, Ye Nyo told Réponse. me about it. First, Ye Nyo uh, Ye Rat went to study parlé. in uh, Vietnam, and then she returned to Vietnam, Phnom Penh. She then got Penh, married, and she uh, went to live marié, in the United States. Did she tell you how long Question. her daughter lives in the United States already? I did not know when Réponse. she left for America, Je as I did not ask about it. Did you ever yourself question. speak with Rat? Avez-vous vous-même communiqué avec Rat? I met her in Réponse. 1979. Je l'ai rencontrée en 1979. Did you uh, ever speak recently Question. to Rat? Avez-vous parlé récemment à Rat? Since she went to the United States Réponse. of America, I have not met her or spoken to her. Je depuis qu'elle est partie aux États-Unis. Je ne lui ai plus reparlé. Maybe depuis. I didn't get that answer, but do you know Question. around Je pas très which bien year compris. she went to the United States? En quelle année elle est partie aux États-Unis? Neither do I. Non, je ne sais pas. Yinyo simply told me that she went to the States and she did not tell me when she left for the States. Ne pas dit quand. Did she tell you uh, in which city Vous dit uh, Rat lives? Dans quelle ville Rat réside désormais? No. Réponse non. Um, is, what is the relation, Question. do you know, between Sai Sen 
and grandmother Nar. Quels sont les liens qui unissent Saïsen et la vieille Nor? Uh, you talk about soy sai. I don't know any person by the name of soy sai, but je if you refer, you refer to soy sai, yes, contre, I know that person. Sen, oui, I apologize for my uh, my pronunciation, but I mean soy sai, the person that we spoke about earlier uh, during your testimony. Déjà parlé au cours de Do you know what his relation is, if any, uh, uh, with grandmother Noor? la relation, s'il y en a une, entre cette personne et la vieille Nord. No. I, I don't. Réponse. Non, 40. je ne sais pas. And I don't have any contact with him either. And uh, he was also a former a prisoner there. Je sais seulement qu'il était prisonnier Do you know if auparavant. She Grandmother Noor considered Question. him, Sai Sen, as her foster son or adopted si son or some equivalent of that. La Noor considérait Sai Sen comme son fils adoptif, quelque chose de similaire. No, Réponse. I don't know the relationship between Sai Sen and her. Non, je ne sais pas quel était le lien qui unissait Sai Sen à la Vieille Noor. Um, do you know if Sai Sen? Question had a different name in the period between 1970 and 1979. No, I don't. I only uh, know non. his name as uh, Soi Sen. Uh, does the name uh, Kutsen mean anything to you? Question. Et est-ce que le nom de Kutsen vous dit quelque chose? No, that name doesn't Réponse. ring a bell. Non, ce nom ne me dit rien. Um, Mr. Witness, we spoke Question. earlier about, uh, about Rod. Um, and about her husband, uh, Mombun. Mombun. Uh, do you know anything about the reason why uh, Mombun was arrested and detained at Krang Tachan? No, I don't know uh, anything. In that regard, non, I only uh, saw him when he was uh, sent uh, there. Je vu uniquement a été when exactly he was sent there, we will we'll get back to that le uh, later, Mr. Nous Witness. Plus tard, au um, où il a été arrêté, do you know anything about the reasons for the arrest and detention of Mais the husband of Grandmother Noor, uh, Mias Kun? A été arrêté. Je parle de Mias Kun. No, I don't. No. When I say that they Question. might have had an argument with si um, the village chief, not does that refresh your memory? Est-ce que cela vous dit quelque chose? No, I don't know réponse. anything about that, and I also non. did not ask her about it. Do you know anything about allegations Question. against uh, Mombun, the husband of Rad, of um, um, uh, raping uh, an April 17 person with the name of Korn, coming from Usfaitchak? No, I don't. Réponse, non. Um, coming back to the question, question. whether uh, Mombun and Mias Kun and their respective wives were already in Krang Tachan when you arrived 
Or that they came that they arrived in Kangtachan after you had come. If I recall correctly, you gave um, mixing answers, changing answers. Can you remember, try to remember well and uh, answer the question whether they were already there? or had been already si there when you came, or that they came after you had arrived. I was there Réponse. before they arrived. Là avant did you see them come in? Uh, did you see them being brought in as prisoners? Avez-vous vu qu'ils y étaient amenés en tant que prisonniers? Yes, I did. Were you maybe, in fact, one of the guards who picked them up at the outside gate? and brought them um, into the prison compound, or was that somebody else? Okay, no. Answer. Réponse. The other persons that brought them in. Uh, do you remember them Question. sitting uh, in one of the two prison buildings being vous shackled. Souvenez-vous les avoir vus assis et être enferrés dans l'un des deux bâtiments de détention. Answer. I am not aware of this because Réponse. I was je guarding rien parce outside. Que moi je montais la garde à l'extérieur. Did you see Question. them being walked? from the detention building until the interrogation room. Answer no, I did not. Do I take it that you also didn't see them being interrogated? But no, I did not see that. Réponse, non. Do you know Question. when their respective wives arrived at Krangtachan? Savez-vous quand leurs femmes respectives sont arrivées à Krangtachan? Answer, I Réponse. did not. I recall uh, the dates exactly. Je ne me souviens pas du I uh, just saw them there Je together with their children. Avec leurs enfants. I understand that you don't Question. remember the date, but Donc, would you be able to tell, to give us an date. estimate as to when the wives arrived les sont and, and the time or the moment that their husbands arrived at Grand Answer. The, the husband had Réponse. arrived first. Les maris sont arrivés en premier. And after one or two weeks, Puis, une ou deux the wife arrived. Après, ce sont les femmes qui sont arrivées. Did you see them Question. in shackles in the detention building? Les avez-vous vus enferrés dans le bâtiment de détention? Answer, I did not enter Réponse. the compound. Je ne suis pas entré à l'intérieur de l'enceinte. So then you didn't see them being taken Question. from the detention Donc, uh, building till the interrogation room. Is that correct? Vous n'avez pas vu qu'on les a menés plus depuis le bâtiment de détention vers la salle de l'interrogatoire. Est-ce exact? Bah. Answer, yes, that Réponse. is correct. C'est exact. I will move on to a different uh, subject now, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, in your statement to the investigating judges, um, 
it's where is it? A twenty six and twenty seven. Uh, you answer the following. After April uh, 1975, but let me read the question first, Mr. Dennis. The question is, before you worked at Crank Tachan, where had you worked? And you answer A26. Um, after April 1975, before I came to work at Crank Tachan, I was a soldier near Phnom Damrai Romil Mountain. I was stationed at Phnom Damrai Romil Mountain. Question. What did, you, what did they have you do when you were stationed at Phnom Damrai Romil Mountain? Answer. I was on guard at the foot of the mountain waiting to capture the enemy. But there were no enemies at the time. Um, can you Give us some more details as to what you mean with at the foot of the mountain. Uh, where exactly uh, is the foot of the mountain? mountain. It is a range of mountain. It's the range start from old from a national road number three to uh, Trobaich area. Uh, that's correct. It's west of Krangtachan prison. Um, but the mountain range is, is quite long. When you say at the foot of the mountain, where exactly, uh, which position are you referring to? Which part of the mountain? Quelle partie de la montagne faites-vous référence? I was stationed in Tropenglian village, Kus commune, Tramkok district. À Kus, dans le district de Tramkok. Let me try it differently. Um, when you speak about the foot of the mountain, the, the exact spot that you're referring to, were there, for instance, uh, waterfalls close by? Answer. There were no waterfalls. The place where I was stationed was in Tropenglian village, Kus commune, Tramkok district. Um, but, but you're referring in your testimony uh, that you were stationed at the foot of the mountain. Uh, let me refresh your memory by reading another part of your testimony, that is D40-23. Uh, uh, English page 7, um, English ERN 00223213, um, French 00490912, and Khmer 00165357. Um, the question is, do you know where prisoners were taken to be killed? Your answer, I know it was in the fenced wall compound of the office. Question, how do you know that? Because, your answer, on the days when they set out the plan, they had a meeting. A moment later, they transported them to the mountains. Um, but, but, and don't know, but I don't know where they transported them to throw them away. Uh, there again, you speak about the mountains. Are these the same mountains that you referred to when you were stationed at the foot of the mountains. Que celle lorsque vous dites que vous étiez au pied de la montagne. Answer the mountains here refer to Domrei Romil mountain. Ici je parle des montagnes de Domrei Romil. So that's not the same place that you were stationed in 1975. Bah. 
answer, yes, that is correct. So the place at the foot of the mountain, or at, at the mountain where they took um, um, the prisoners, were there waterfalls close by? Answer, I uh, do not know. Was there a dam close by? But answer, there were réponse. many dams, Taum dam, Tamang dam, ta um at the base of the mountain. But the place where they, Question. you said, they took prisoners, was Mais there a dam a close by? And if yes, which dam was si oui, it? Quel, de quel Or answer. Réponse. There were many dams, and I did barrage. not know whether the Mreiro Mill, uh, there was a dam close to that mountain. Et je ne sais pas s'il y avait un barrage à proximité de Dam Mill. Let me try it differently. Um, Mr. Mr. Do you know if there was a place where people were executed at the foot of the mountain, at the foot of the Dam Mill mountain? Au pied de la montagne de Dam Mill. Answer. Réponse. Actually, I knew that uh, prisoners were en fait, transported out of the center, and I did not know where exactly they were sent to, which mountain exactly they were sent to. À quel exactement. So just to be clear, you Question. only knew that when prisoners were taken out of Kram Tachan, they were brought to the mountains. Is that, is that, do I understand that correctly? Bah. Answer, yes, Réponse. you are right. Can you tell us how often prisoners were taken out of Kram Tachan and brought to the mountains? Answer. Réponse. I knew that it happened only once. Je que can, you tell, can, can you tell me something about this one time that you saw or, or, or knew about it? Question when exactly was that? Question. 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 I did not know how many prisoners uh, were taken out. It was at night time. Can you tell us how you know Question. about how you knew about that? How, how did you know that prisoners were taken uh, to the mountains? President, please hold on, Mr. Witness. Uh, you uh, shall wait for the microphone activation. Que le micro soit allumé avant de parler. I was asked to uh, guard the tracks. On m'a demandé de monter la garde avec un mur. How many trucks were there? Maître Copé, combien de camions y avait-il? Actually, there were no trucks uh, within en fait, the compound. The uh, trucks were uh, driven from outside, and there was only one truck. On les conduisait à partir de l'extérieur de l'enceinte, et il y en avait qu'un. What exactly was your duty? What, what, what did they était votre make you do? Exactement, quel était votre travail? Qu'est-ce que l'on vous a demandé bah, de faire? Answer, I was asked to guard the outside area. De monter la garde à l'extérieur. And what exactly do you remember you Question. saw? Et que vous souvenez-vous avoir vu? But odd. Answer, I did not see anything. Réponse, je n'ai rien vu. But you spoke about a truck. So you, 
I et pourtant, vous saw venez de truck. dire que vous avez parlé de Can vous avez parlé de camion, vous avez vu un camion. Pourriez-vous nous donner davantage de détails Answer. The truck arrived at night time. Le camion est arrivé pendant I la nuit. I was told in advance that uh, the, the truck would arrive at night time. Qu'un camion arriverait pendant la nuit. Did you see prisoners being loaded into the truck? Avez-vous vu que des prisonniers montaient à bord de ce camion? Answer. I did not see. Réponse. There was no light, so je I could not vu. see. Il n'y avait pas de lumière, donc je ne pouvais pas voir. Uh, Mr. Witness, on page 7 of your statement, D4023, uh, the, the, the very last question, so uh, I don't have to, I think, um, give the ERNs, the last, ver, very last question of your statement. Uh, your, the question is being asked, while you worked at this office, did you ever see any high-level leader go to inspect there? Then you see your answer, only P and Duik who worked at Trump Cock District, they often rode motorcycles and vehicles there. Uh, earlier there was a question of, about P and, and you called him uh, handicapped P if I remember correctly. What more can you tell us about P? P. Answer. Réponse. I did not know P's background and he was referred to Je the handicapped P and everyone in Trumka district knew le uh, the handicapped P. Was it because his leg was amputated? Do you know anything about that? Était-ce parce que sa jambe était amputée, par exemple? But answer. Réponse. I never asked anything about him. Je n'ai jamais rien demandé à son sujet. And uh, this person P, uh, when he arrived at the place, he would Et just talk P to only arrivé, the high ne leaders. dirigeants. Do you know what happened to P uh, after 1979? But answer. Réponse. I do not know after that, but at that time I Je could see a P arrives at the place uh, very often. Mais à l'époque, j'ai vu qu'il venait souvent à cet endroit. You know if P was executed um, Question, in, in 1979 si P or 1980? Question, savez-vous si P a été exécuté en 1979 ou 1980? Answer, I Réponse. do not know. Je ne sais pas. Um, another topic, um, Mr. Witness, um, that is your answers to questions 1A127 up until A130, that is E319.133. Question uh, from the investigators, Mr. Witness, is as follows. La question suivante vous est posée. Uh, you just mentioned a moment ago about the arrests made in Trumcock district with regard to light offenders and serious offenders. We would like you to give examples of or distinguish between those who fell under the light offenders and serious offender category. Your answer. One to seven. Light offenders included those who stole potatoes or chicken or raped women. Serious offenders included political prisoners and men and women who fornicated. Their punishment was to soil on shoulder poles. Question. Was rape a light offense? The victim, you answer, was a light offender, while the rapist was a serious offender. Question. 
Was the victim also punished? Yes, they were, but they were released. Question. In what category were the prisoners who were sent to Kramtachan security office? To my knowledge, you answer, 130, serious offenders were sent to Kramtachan security office, light offenders were not sent there. Can you tell the chamber what your knowledge is of the, uh, the difference about the difference between light and serious offenders. How do you know that? Difference qui distinguait ceux qui avaient commis des fautes graves de ceux qui avaient commis des fautes non graves. Answer. Réponse. Du témoin. I do not know how uh, the offenders uh, were determined and, Je ne sais pas comment on and the déterminait light offenders were not sent to Grandachan and asked for serious offenders, they would be sent to Grandachan security office. I did not attend the meeting, so I did not know how they were determined whether the, those people were light offenders or serious offenders. I understand that you don't know the answer to specific people, but um, could you tell us how you know or what the basis of, is of your knowledge about this general distinction between light offenders and serious offenders? Is that something maybe that you heard while you were a guard at Krangtachan prison? Ou de crime léger? Est-ce quelque chose que vous avez appris à Krangtachan? Right. Answer. I heard about this from uh, another guard. C'est un autre garde qui me l'a appris. Which which guard? Question. Quel garde? Answer. Seeing told me that a serious offender were to be sent to Kangdajan security office and as for light offender, they would not be sent there. And I was asked to be cautious and to be careful of these offenders. And do you remember how he knew about this? Et savez-vous comment lui-même avait appris cette distinction bah. Answer. Seung was a party member. Seung était membre du parti. Very well. Uh, another topic, um, Mr. Witness, you spoke about that already earlier. Th that is question um, in E319133, question one, uh, 138. Um, you are being asked by the investigators the following. After 17 April 75, when the Lone Nol had been defeated by the Khmer Rouge, what happened to the Lone Nol soldiers and white scarves? Your answer, 138, they evacuated them all. Uh, question 139. At Krang Tachan, sorry, 140. At Krang Tachan security office, were there any prisoners who were former Lon Nol soldiers? While I worked, your answer, while I worked at Krang Tachan security center, there were none. Question. After you had worked for a period of time at Krang Tachan security office, were any former Lon Nol soldiers sent there? Your answer, no. After 17 April 75, did you know if former Lon Nol soldiers and their families had been taken away for execution? Your answer, I did not know about that since I was in the rare ranks. Once the provincial town of Takio had been captured, I was moved back to the district. Last question, 143. As a soldier, after the victory uh, on 17 April 1975, did you ever receive any instructions with regard to encounters with former Lonol soldiers? And you answered to the investigators, no. They just had us send Lon Nol soldiers back to their hometowns. Is that, in fact, what you told uh, the investigators? Yes, this is my statement. It is true. 
how, how can you be sure that the prisoners who were at Krang Tachan were not in fact um, former Lonol soldiers or officers? People were uh, talking about this from one another, and I did Les not know uh, where autres. this information was from. So to the best of your knowledge, Maître there were no donc, former Lonol soldiers or officers Detained in Krang Tachan prison. Is that, is that your testimony? Answer yes. I would like to take you back now to another answer, a, a different subject. Um, that is D4023, uh, page 5 in the English version. Um, French ERN 00490909, 09 Khmer ERN 00165354, 0 0 0 0 the question in the middle of the page, did you ever the see them kill prisoners while you were working at the Kang Tachan office? Your answer, I never saw it. I will get back to that. I know that while I was working there, I was the youngest one of all. And perhaps since they always feared a breach of secrecy, that may have been why they did not let me know. And my question now is about the second part of that sentence. They always feared a breach of secrecy. What is exactly, what is exactly, uh, what exactly did you mean when you gave that answer with the fear of breach of secrecy? But answer. They were afraid that uh, if I uh, walk anywhere and met some people, they were afraid that I would talk about this to people. That is why they did not let me know. I understand that. Uh, do you remember what exactly? your orders or instructions were. Um, were you specifically instructed or ordered uh, not to speak to villagers about events that took place within the compound of Krang Tachan? Answer. I was not given any order. I received an instruction that uh, I should shut my mouth. That might seem a little bit technical point, but uh, I just want to be sure that I understand correctly. You were um, a former soldier. Um, what is exactly is the difference between an instruction and an order. Were you only told or were you ordered um, in your capacity as a soldier not to speak to villagers? Answer. I was threatened and I warned not to uh, let anything uh, out of my mouth and if On I talk qu about it, I uh, would be in danger. Si do you remember, it's a long time ago I understand, but do you remember the exact words when you were threatened not to tell anything about what happened at Krang Tachan? Answer. That is true. What is true? Answer. I was told that 
When I learned any information from outside, I should not uh, say anything about it. Otherwise, my head would fall down on the earth. Uh, maybe there went something wrong in translation, but um, were you specifically instructed not to speak to outsiders, for instance villagers, as to what happened at Krang Tachan while you were at Krang Tachan? Answer. I was not allowed to go and make any contact with the people outside the compound, the uh, compound, there were two levels of fences uh, surrounding the compound. I understand what you're saying, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, but we have had, we have heard the testimony of another witness, the person that we just spoke about, Soi Sen. Uh, he told the chamber that he was um, allowed to leave the compound, tending the cows. Do you know if he had any instructions not to speak to villagers about what happened at Krang Tachan? Personally, I never spoke to Soi Sen. Maybe he received his instructions from his chief. Uh, if there is the case, I would not know. Uh, well, if I understood the, the testimony of Soi Sen correctly, and also the testimony of Mia Soka, uh, they were allowed, apparently, so they say, to wander around tending the cows. Do you know any, about any instruction to Mia Soka not to speak to villagers? du bétail. Savez-vous si Mia Soka avait reçu l'instruction de ne pas parler aux villageois The two of them tended the cows, but I did not know about the instructions related between their chief and them. Uh, the instructions or orders or whatever they were Question. not to speak to anybody about what happened uh, at Krang Tachan. Did that also apply to your fellow guards, uh, the five other guards within your unit? Did they have that same order or instruction? I was specifically instructed on that issue because I was the youngest member of the unit. Well, my question was whether you know whether the fellow members of your unit had similar instructions. Do you know anything about that? I only met uh, one person and I was instructed not to say anything. Je n'ai rencontré qu'une personne et moi j'avais reçu l'instruction de ne parler de rien. Um, I apologize, Mr. Witness, but maybe my questions are not very clear. But my, my, my question was relating to the fellow members of your unit. Uh, you were a military unit. Um, I take it you received orders. Do you know whether the other members of your unit, uh, like Duke, for instance, uh, or Sain, whether they received orders not to speak to anybody about what happened at Krang Tachan? I did not know if réponse. they did, because I only knew si what I was told. As for Sen or Dutch, they could receive instructions, Sen, Duke, but I did not know what instructions were given to them. Mr. Witness, I've, I, I myself Question. have never been in the military, but isn't it true, and wasn't that also the case uh, within um, 
the Revolutionary Army that instructions were given to units or platoons or battalions as a group, or am I mistaken? Je pense que c'est le cas, mais peut-être que je me trompe. In the army, Réponse. the uh, commander issued order. Le but when I was at the Kantachan office, we were no longer in under the military command, and our instruction was to guard the, uh, the Kantachan office. Pour de la garde. And in practice, under the military command, for example, if we were to attack a, or to engage in a battlefield, Dans then there would be a si meeting, est, exemple, and in the meeting there bataille, would be plans, and the plans would be relayed to all members of the unit engaged in such a battlefield. And you're saying that this was not the practice Question. in relation Alors, to your dites, unit? Which was stationed at Krang Tachan? Ne concernait pas votre unité stationnée à Krang Tachan. Yes, that is correct. C'est exact. My next question, Mr. Witness, that is uh, your answer to question uh, 163. De document E319133. Dans le document E319133. Um, Did Ta An ever tell you, is the question, tell you or give you instructions on how to behave with prisoners? And your answer is he instructed us to be gentle but firm with the prisoners. Now, I won't ask you a question about the us. Uh, I'll ask you a question about um, to be gentle but firm with the prisoners. Do you remember the specific order? And do you, are you able to tell us what he meant with that specific order? The word firm, but gentle, at that time, was uh, commonly uh, used. We had to be gentle, but at the same time, we had to be firm. Um, I understand your answer. However, earlier testimony, you indicated that possibly prisoners were uh, being tortured, uh, were being executed. Did you think, or, or did you think at the time that that was a strange? order or you had no ideas or no thoughts about that specific order to treat the prisoners firm but gently? On this point, I myself did not understand it. Fair enough, but the order you remember specifically? Firm but gentle treatment vous vous of prisoners. Bien de Correct? Cet ordre qui a été donné. Donc d'être à la fois gentil et ferme. Yes. Réponse oui. Do you remember in which Question. year or uh, in which year specifically this order was given? Were you there already for a long time or only donné. a short time? Do you remember? Vous During the meetings, it was one of the main points that they raised. C'était l'un des principaux points abordés lors des réunions. So it was told to your unit more than once. Is that your testimony? Cette consigne a donc été donnée à plusieurs reprises aux membres de l'unité, n'est-ce pas? Yes. Réponse oui. And at these meetings. Do I understand correctly? Your fellow compris, unit members were present and heard this order as well. Les membres de votre unité participaient. 
Y avait-il d'autres membres également There are uh, two kinds of meeting. Il y avait deux types de réunions. A meeting held for the staff working inside the Grandjean office and a meeting held for us, the guards uh, outside. I'm telling you, I'm asking you about questions about the meeting uh, with your fellow unit members. Um, you were told as a group several times, is that correct, uh, to be gentle and but firm with prisoners? Yes. And let me revisit my earlier question. These group sessions uh, when you receive this order, were there also other orders given Lors to you and your unit members? Cet ordre vous a été donné. Pouvez-vous vous souvenir d'autres ordres, d'autres consignes qui vous auraient été donnés? They did not give uh, through uh, many instructions. They only spoke on the uh, main point, including this one. And do you remember which other points were discussed or other points that you were given instructions uh, on? As for them, they held meetings only among themselves, the senior people. As for us, we were the outside guard, and usually the meetings that were held for us was held once a month. President, thank you, Council. It is now a convenient time for a short break. We will take a break now and resume at 3 o'clock. And Court officer, please uh, assist the witness during uh, the break and invite him, including his duty counsel, back to the courtroom at the 3 o'clock. The court is now in recess. Suspension de